game day has finally arrived for the Sweet 16. Welcome to the second week of the NCAA tournament. It's the Sweet 16, the next stop on the road to the Final Four. Who will go to the Elite Eight? And the Sweet 16 is underway. Tyler got his game in the first half. Jordan got his close again. Uh, then Tyler hit a big basket. For the Elite Eight. No! Oregon is won! You gotta be a little lucky. You know, that, that shot could have went in. That's how tight that game was. It could have went in either way. What a matchup we have here tonight. West Virginia against top seed Gonzaga. Hey, that was just an absolute uh, war. There were big shots being made right and left, and fortunately, we made the two big plays at the end. Carter, not giving it up. He's being hounded. Miles now, and the clock expires, and the game is over, and Gonzaga is headed to the Elite Eight. You tell me another team in the country can shoot 26% from the field against the number one seed and still could have, should have won the game. And I think that says a lot about what kind of guys we have. Kansas and Purdue, the winner to the Elite Eight. An extremely impressive performance by the Jayhawks against a really good Purdue team. We had a blast, uh, especially in the second half. They were really good um, in the second half. They played a great game. I thought it was one of the best games we played all year. The second half I thought was about as complete as we played. Now Xavier and Arizona trying to play their way to the next round. Trier has scored the last 15 points for Arizona. All tied at 71. Elmera scores! Arizona down two. Trier. Three-pointer is up. No! And the ball is loose. And it is Xavier. Bernard comes away with it. Clock ticks. And that's it! Xavier has upset Arizona! It's never easy when it ends, especially if you have a great team or if you had a great season. Our goal and aspiration is always to challenge for a Final Four and get there. And uh, we pulled up short. We worked so hard. Not only in the offseason, but throughout the year battling adversity. And uh, I just didn't think it was time for our season to end. Obviously an emotional game. I'm really proud of our kids. Today's a Xavier day.